Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back. I don't know why I'm on half speed today. <laughs> Welcome back to No Man's Sky 2024, uh, otherwise known as No Man's Sky 5.0 or No Man's Sky Worlds, whatever, what have you. We're still here. Let's go to the anomaly and report in so that we can get our quicksilvers. Quicksilver, otherwise known as mercury, is uh, very poisonous and probably you shouldn't be playing with it and uh, certainly you shouldn't be like, you know, spending it like cash money. <laughs> I mean, unless you have a temperature. Yes, Artemis, I'll be there in a minute. Stop being so much in a hurry. You're not going anywhere. Oh, that was really mean. Today's the same day. We don't have any more missions. Although that one might be more interesting than uh, the one that was on offer. Hello, Nada. <laughs> uh, you saw a signal. Yeah, it was Artemis. Artemis doesn't remember you, Nada. Get over yourself. He remembers Artemis, though. Artemis is a, a traveler entity like yourself. Uh, or, uh, or it's a fraud. You don't know. So there's our Quicksilver. 150 Quicksilver. And uh, I believe there's some nanites in that, too. I wasn't paying attention. Expedition rewards. Uh, let's go talk to Artemis. I'll continue to help. I'll continue to help by talking to Artemis. All right, we're almost there. I burnt myself. <laughs> I burnt my thumb. <laughs> don't ask me. It was the back of my thumb. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> there was a candle involved, which, you know, had fire attached to it. Tell Artemis what happened. The star chart is wrong. Don't despair. Uh, possibly, uh, how did you get there? Are you going to be quiet? You're going to tell me? Oh, don't tell me about the stars altering themselves. Just tell me how you got there. Uh, okay. Look, dude, just calm down. He can't hear me. Alright, there we go. Now we get to the truth. The glyphs for a portal. So you went through a portal. The pathway collapsed while you were inside. You know, 38 minutes. That's all the time you have. How about the glyphs? Will that help? Oh, dear God. For goodness sake, Artemis. Oh, no. What's the matter now? Oh, your signal got cut off. All right. Let's go find this Apollo guy. For goodness sake. I'm not going back to the anomaly right now. I'm looking for Apollo. Ghosts in the machine. There's Apollo. Well, there's a hollow terminus. We'll go uh, talk to Apollo, and then we'll go talk to Nada again, and then we'll go start a base, which we've already done, but we'll do it again. The part that we have to do, anyway. Zoom. Anyway, we'll go home and check in on our base. It's a beautiful place. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you probably haven't seen it. Oh, don't do this. Where's the terminus? There it is. Approximate this, hello games. <laughs> that is a huge amount of oxygen. I think I will. I don't need this. But you know what? You can't exactly like get it anywhere else for free. So you may as well get it here. Is that all of it? Last one? Alright, there we go. <laughs> that was drive-by nav data. Oh, 
Open Sesame. Tune to Apollo. Howdy. This might be a very disagreeable conversation. Uh, howdy. All right, fine. Um, I'm um, I'm a friend of Artemis's. Well, for goodness sake. Yeah, it's a label, like all things. Oh, this conversation is not a waste of time. You just haven't begun to understand what's needed. <laughs> uh, yeah, here's the log. Don't get all upset. Just calm down. We'll find him. We'll figure it out. Yes, yes, they definitely sound like sentinel echoes. All right, I'll go find the sentinel echo. Lock and load. Perhaps it was nothing. A ghost in the machine. Quite possibly. Alright, we need to go to a Korvax system, I think. Or maybe the game doesn't actually care. And you just have to go somewhere else. I don't know. Oh, uh, actually, he's sending in us uh, to his contact right now. I thought he was going to want us to go uh, start a fight. Is this the place I was thinking of and it's not a Z, but it starts with a Y? <laughs> you know what I forgot to do again? I forgot to get a drink. I do have a little bit of this uh, black cherry stuff. And it's gone. Oh, and I can't get the lid back on. There we go. We are far too close to pulse to the station. <laughs> uh, 1600 maneuverability says so. Uh, oh, was I supposed to go tell uh, Nada? Yeah, I think I was. We'll get the uh, storage augment. I think it's a storage augment. Where are we? Uh... Okay. <laughs> hey, and there's a new guide entry. Oh, look, Apollo's contact is a Viking dude. Uh, I just want... Oh, that's a salvage frigate module. Okay, this is not the place. I was thinking, oh no, was it a Y that the name of the place started with all this time? I think it's a Z. Um, heat protection is always the best thing. And anyway, we're going to sell it because it's B-class. Uh, return to your base. All right, but let's uh, return to Apollo first. Hi, I have a deal for you. How about a B-class thermal protection module? All right. Uh, oops. We're just getting free Quicksilver. What are we up to now? <clears throat> A lot of people confuse that signal during the Artemis mission for the Nexus. The whole thing is the space station. The Nexus is just this little machine thing right here. This thing. That's the Nexus. It says so right on the thing. Uh, Nada! I met somebody who's a stranger to me. You have to comfort me. Uh, what have you learned? Uh, he went through a portal. Uh, Nada uh, shudders in shock. I tell him about Apollo. And then he tells me that Artemis is slipping between worlds into the data fall. Our home lives in these spaces, but these holes are stable. Small. Not as worried, traveler. Cracks between the iterations should not widen. It will not help us. Oh, Nada, I uh, am a crack in the iterations. <laughs> this is a puzzle. A trap or a tragedy. Travel entity is Q. 
curious, not a has advice. The rampant crimson is the work of Atlas falsity. Other Korvax say deity, not a knows better. Atlas false entity hunts not a, but traveler may seek them out, draw them away. Yeah, that's what he wants us to do. He wants to use us. Let's go home. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think we can just go back to Ghost in the Machine, but we'll go home. Uh, check out the place. Uh, my base is uh, Desert Home I Ghetto. I Ghetto Home Base. I don't even know if I had shown you guys what the, the little bit of work that I had done uh, before we went on the expedition because I went off and did the expedition without using an established save. Oh jeez, it's dark. Wendelec Mita. It's dark. The water is purple at night hardly any power. Oh, I guess I haven't done anything. Alright, uh, I have to build a cylindrical room which requires a hell of a lot of pure ferrite that I don't have. Uh, uh, let's see here. Do I have any ferrite? Oh, there we go. Magnetized ferrite. I don't know why we have to build a cylindrical room. I think it's silly. Look, I've got a little power thing over there. It was super close by. Which is good, because that means I don't have to worry about solar power. Hey, have these things rejuvenated? No, of course not. No, nothing's rejuvenated. Hi. Um, why are you still calling me pathetic? How about I kick your ass? Then we'll see who's pathetic. Oh, is that done? There we go. I'm also going to need a door, apparently. Uh, yeah, apparently I need a door. Gosh darn it. <laughs> um, why can't I use that? Oh, it's on my ship. For God's sake, where's the ship? Oh, it's right there. Don't I have a thing? A transmitter thing? I don't. Um, here we go. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, that'll be enough for a door. No, it's not enough for a door. Gosh darn it! <laughs> You gotta get it out of the thing. You can't just use it. All right, there's a door. Oh God, where the hell's the door? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Uh, power, uh, electrical wiring. I don't think this is necessary, necessarily. Uh, I can't go through my ship. What the hell? What happened? Oh, for God's sake. Access the mission log. <laughs> I think I could have worked that out on my own game. Oh, there we go. All right, now we gotta go find a dude.
You know, it's really funny because I thought that I had already done this, and uh, I apparently did not. Okay. Uh, uh, go on me. Where's the guy? What? What? He's on the planet. What? Oh, come on. Must be a geck around here somewhere. Hi, do you want to be my commander? No? Fine. Gosh darn it. Just give me a technology symbol. Alright, fine. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> That is not where he is. Alright, let's uh, shorten the pain and suffering here and go find a GEC system. There's a GEC system. Was the guy walking around on the deck? Because I didn't see him. I saw a signal telling me to go someplace else. Alright. Um, expanding the base. Find an overseer. Use a teleporto to go home. That's what it says in the lower right corner. But I don't think I've tried this since uh, the new space stations came out. Should be able to check or uh, pick uh, any uh, GEC system. What about you? Are you an overseer? No. You're just a GEC. What a really cool word for a technology symbol. What about you? Nope. <laughs> oh my gosh. You! Come here! You have funny glasses on? No, not you either, huh? Fine. My thing is bugged out. I'm gonna have to go back to Nagopia. I find a geck standing in a doorway randomly. Hi. You're a resource analyst. You look very funny. You can be my boss. Yeah, it is me. Oh, good God. Dude. This goofball has two eyes, but his name is Goral. <laughs> uh, Goral, you are hired. I will see you at home. And there's no bars anymore. Maybe that's why there's no bars anymore. Because the workers keep hanging out in them. Alright. Let's uh, teleport home and go greet the overseer. Yeah, uh, right there. don't think we have to do anything other than greet this guy and then uh, I think we can go back to Apollo. Maybe we don't have to do anything other than meet Apollo's contact. I'm, I'm not sure. I've never really pushed it because uh, I usually do this mission uh, to get all the free plants. This guy really needs some windows. I don't have any windows. You'll have to wait until we have a scientist, then I'll give you some windows. Oh, for God's sake, he gave me glass. Could there be any stronger suggestion that he wants windows? Uh, if you give me some chromatics and some stuff, I will give you a scientist. Okay, fine. I will get right on that. Uh, let's see here. Ghost in the machine. Expand your staff. Oh, for... Meh! Meh! Fine. I have a translator thingy. Oh, do I not have the stuff yet? Oops, that was the wrong button. Chromatics I have. Return to the overseer. I was just too fast. I was too fast for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. There's some chromatic metal for you. 
now uh, a science terminal. Oh, for God's sake. I just cooked all my magnetized ferrite. Hey, maybe there's some for sale inside. Yes, yes, a storage container. We have several. Yeah. Uh, hello? Um, what is it that I need? Um, gosh darn it. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, goofball magnetized ferrite. <laughs> uh, there's regular ferrite. Uh, I will take all of it. Build a science terminal. There you go. Go hire a scientist. Uh, go find this building. Uh, wait a minute. Did it just change back? No, wait. Wait a minute. Uh, hey, there it is. <laughs> Up. <laughs> Approximate location for an abandoned building? Oh, come on now. <laughs> Somewhere around here. That is a hollow terminus. There it is. Whoopsie. <laughs> Apparently I was going too fast. Oh, the door's on the other side, is it? Oh god, I don't have the energy to get up the... Ugh, oh, fine. <laughs> I'll go get the nav data first. <laughs> All right, let's steal the data and get out of here. That's a damaged building. Where's the data terminal thing, my bob? There it is. <laughs> oh my god, how long have I been doing this? <laughs> it feels like hours already. There you go. Thanks for the information. Oh, you know what? There's some pretty good stuff in here. <laughs> don't kiss a gift horse in the mouth. I uh, don't eat that, but I might want to learn that word. Okay. Now we have to go hire a scientist, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I see where I failed to make it to the building. I was parked too far away. Oh my god, what a beautiful planet this is. We have been graced with a gorgeous planet that was not destroyed uh, by the uh, world's update. Which is lucky, I understand. <laughs> After you land on the water, you get the uh, water landing sound for a little bit. All right, now understand, uh, little dude, I already know how to do this, but there's your data. I am black, uh, back. I am back, and I do not lack the data. There it is right there, God. Storage containers, every one of them that I already knew. Yes, I have a science terminal. Yes, 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 I know. Can I go talk to Apollo now? No. Gosh darn it. I'm getting tired of this buffoonery. Let's go to a science uh, system. <laughs> Alright. Uh, now we need a Corvax. <laughs> These are all, these are all, uh, 
not Corvax. There we go. There was, you know, possibly a Corvax on Nagopia Station that we could have hired, but having failed to find a construction um, doohickey guy, I figured I would come back here. Oopsie. <laughs> I love all those sounds. Uh, nope. There we go. Be helpful if you just point out a scientist right away. No? I gotta go through the same goofball thing? Okay, fine. Hire staff from space stations. Um. What's your name? Uh. Dedermi. Uh, Dedermi, are you a scientist? No. Fine. I smell like what? I think that was rude. I'm not sure because I don't speak a lot of Cor Corvax. <laughs> nope. Hey, watch your mouth. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I just got something for free over there. Uh, you, you hear a buzzing sound in your ears? I'm sorry. I don't know where you had ears. That's a Viking, dude. Hi. Uh, you must be the idiot I'm looking for. No. <laughs> uh, how about you? What's your name? Totora. <laughs> Totora is our scientist. He has passed his test. Who? <laughs> Gosh, really don't have time for this crap. Uh, wrong thing. Wait a minute. Unless they have cobalt. Uh, yeah. I'll just take all of it. I think I need five. <laughs> I don't know if I have uh, any um, the, the little flower plant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He wants a flower. And some cobalt. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. I expected to be talking to Apollo by now. Howdy. How you doing, Totora? <laughs> Request his aid. Lubricant and acid. Thanks. Marrow bulb, indeed, and cobalt. Uh, do I have any marrow bulb? Uh, oh, it's not here. Jeez. Oh boy, what a mess. There's some. If it's enough, I don't know. How much did he want? Probably 25, and that was 24. I don't know. Oh, hey, a journey milestone. Probably for meeting people. Yep, 50 aliens. All of them with three fingers and a thumb. You know, without an opposable thumb, they can't get smart, apparently. Oh, good. I can go back and talk to Apollo, finally. Did you want your stupid marrow bulb and stuff? Where is he? Do I have enough? I don't know. Hello? Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, and he wants 30. For goodness sake. 30 marrow bulbs. Well. That's what we're doing tomorrow, then, is uh, we're going to talk to Apollo. And, uh, maybe. I don't know what day of the week this is. Let me see here. I'm shooting this on Tuesday. So that was... Oh, I didn't remember those guys being there. 
Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So this is Saturday. So tomorrow. It's a Merrill bulb. Is that a hole in the ground? No. No, that's an armored clam. Um, I need a cave. <laughs> hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity. Oh my gosh. Must be a cave around here somewhere. There's a cave. Whoa! <laughs> oh, dangerous stuff. Uh, there's no marrow ball down here. Oh, for God's sake. Negative on the marrow ball. Wait, wait, wait. How much marrow ball do I have now? Woohoo! out of here. Oh, these rocket boots. <laughs> they make everything harder. <laughs> but they're funny, and so I keep using them. Gosh darn it. And then uh, I went to do the, uh, the expedition, and I realized that I really missed them a lot. So I... Uh, when I did the expedition on this save, I was like, that's number one on my list of things that I want. <laughs> Alright, we can go back to and uh, go back to Apollo if that's what we want to do tomorrow. Here's your dang marrow bulb, you goofball. <laughs> Are you cussing too? That's rude. Alright, there's our microprocessor, and large refiner is not something that I already knew how to make, because uh, I didn't need to, because I have the MK2 refiner, and uh, that does the same thing as a large refiner, so we don't need that, we don't need to go through the process of building one, which I think is like carbon nanotubes, and um, it's here somewhere. Carbon nanotubes and um, chromatic metal. Oh my gosh, where the heck go? Eh, there it is. Oh, sodium nitrate, microprocessors, and uh, chromatic metal. What the heck was I thinking of? Anyway, let's save this. And uh, yeah, when we come back next time, uh, we'll probably uh, go visit Apollo. And uh, we're really only doing this to get to the autophage mission. Uh, we can also uh, go meet with Tethys and uh, take our little uh, our little buddy wherever the heck I hid him. There, there he is, our undamaged drone cell, and go fix our little uh, drone buddy. Uh, but the sun has gone down, and we are way past the end of our episode. I want to thank you all so very much for coming along. I do hope that you have a lovely evening. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.